Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to take a look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks or so. Just whatever the cards want to say. I've got sense of belonging, home, safe space. Last reading I did, I was getting that someone's tired of seeing you heartbroken over the wrong people. So this could be someone that's kind of just a friend or someone that there might be a romantic potential with, but maybe you've never really completely explored it. Uh, but I was getting the energy that true love is right in front of you. So let's see what's going on now. Got toxicity, red flags, hidden motives, willpower, strength, confidence. So I think, and this makes sense because the, the group of Tauruses that I've been channeling over the last several months have been in this energy of, of having these um, negative patterns in relationships going for toxic or abusive um, or just negative people, you know, psychic vampire types, people that just drain you and use you and just end up hurting you in the end. And it, it might be childhood patterns that some of you are repeating because we have the home card, sense of belonging, safe space, and then we have toxicity, red flags, hidden motives. So it's almost like that's what's familiar to you. You know what I mean? Like you're asking for true love, but then when love is in front of you, it's almost like, like you don't recognize it because it's not familiar to you. It's like, it's these subconscious patterns. Um, and you know, full disclaimer, I'm not a psychologist or anything like anything like that. You need to go to a, a, a regular therapist for to talk to them about it. You know, readings are for entertainment purposes only, but but just what the cards are saying, just what I'm feeling is that you have this pattern where, you know, negative or abusive or codependent um, kind of relationships that are toxic, that's what feels like home to you. That's what feels safe and normal to you. That's what's familiar to you, probably because of, of what you've been through in your childhood or in the past. It's like that just feels like that just feels like how it is. It, you know, it just feels normal to you. And you need to use your willpower and strength and confidence and maybe even, you know, like I said, some of you, if this is you, then, you know, get, get some counseling or get some help with this. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes you guys need, you need help, you know, breaking subconscious patterns like that. But um, it's it just saying like, you know, have willpower and strength and confidence to come through these patterns. Um, because it's like, it makes sense with the energy I was getting a couple of weeks ago where I was saying there's someone in front of you. And they keep watching you be heartbroken over the wrong people, you know, and it's like this true love is in front of you, but maybe it's just not familiar to you. It's like you think it's too good to be true or you maybe just see them as a friend because they're too um, normal and stable. And it's like part of you kind of is drawn to the to the drama and the toxic just because, again, it's it's subconscious because it's what you're used to. It feels familiar to you. That's what feels like home to you that chaos feels like home to you because of these these subconscious patterns that you've repeated so it's it's kind of pointing towards you know being mindful of that because I think some of you are asking for love and you've already been given love but you don't see it because they're not your usual type you know some of you are praying for love you're like where is like I just want to be happy I just want someone here I want someone that's supportive and loving it's like you have someone in front of you who's like all of those things, but maybe you just see them as like a really close friend or like a brother or sister type almost. Um, and it's like because you're just because you're not used to that energy, you know, like you kind of you're, you're just not used to that. Um, let's see what else the cards want to say. So it's like the divine wants to bring you love. Like they want you to have that love. But if you have that pattern where you're, because our subconscious patterns, like our minds affect our perception, the way that we physically see things. Have you ever seen a really happy couple together? And you like, they've been like, they treat each other like, like kings and queens. Like they just, they spoil each other. They're stable. They're happy. They're passionate. They're just so in love with each other. Like they, they're, they're, it's like a pure, innocent relationship. They just treat each other so well. And you look at them and you're like, ooh, I would not be attracted to that guy. Why is she going for him? And you have to realize, like, she probably sees him as someone who's really hot because that's her perspective because she 
had that stable upbringing. So that energy resonates with her. That energy resonates with her on a deep level. So she probably is physically seeing something different than what you see when you look at him or when you look at her, could be male or female. You know what I mean? Like, like she's seeing someone who's attractive and who's, who's sexy to her because that, that energy resonates with her being treated well, being spoiled, being, being loved. Like she, like that resonates with her. That's familiar to her. She's used to having that, you know what I mean? Or he's used to having that male or female, but it's like, you're not used to having that. You're not used to being loved and spoiled and taken care of like that. You're not used to having things be normal. And when things are too normal or too stable or too healthy, it's almost like you get scared and you get uncomfortable and you think like, like, okay, like life is going to come mess this up and take this away from me. Or you get bored or you sabotage it. Um, and it happens, you know, no one's blaming you for that because that happens when you've had a bad life. When you've had a rough life, it's just that chaos becomes, it feels like home to you. It just feels familiar because it's what you're used to. So it's totally normal. No one's blaming you for that. But I'm just saying it to explain that, you know, your guides do want to bring you love. But if you're not attracted to good people, if, if really good, genuine, loving, stable, emotionally available people don't completely resonate with you, then how can they bring you love? They're going to bring you that person and you're going to friend zone them or you're going to think it's too good to be true or you're going to test them to see if they're going to stay with you and you're going to question them and until you've pushed them away and then when you finally push them away you're going to say you're going to say see I knew they were going to leave in the end. You know, you're going to sabotage it. You're going to push them away. You're not you're going to get bored or you're or you're not going to understand that energy. So like your mind is coming into this, like where you have to work on that. Um, you have to work on these patterns and you are, you have been this group that I channel. You guys are really doing, you're doing a lot better than you were before. Like you've, you're coming a long way. Some of you are maybe falling back into these patterns because, because this energy hasn't come up for a while. Like I was getting the energy of toxic relationships before. And then I was getting, a, there was like a period where it was more clear and I felt like love was finally coming in for you. And now the past like month, I've kind of felt this energy kind of starting to come back around, or maybe you're falling back into old patterns a little bit. Maybe you're not just not feeling as happy as usual, maybe getting stressed out and kind of falling back into that old, you know, familiar way of, of doing and being and feeling and, and thinking. Um, so you need to use your willpower and strength and confidence and maybe even, um, like I said, you know, some, some of you do need to, to seek out solutions to, to work on these subconscious patterns to really heal these so you can move forward. Um, so it's not like your guys are, it's not like your guides are trying to withhold love from you. Like they want to give you love, but you, you just have to, it's a matter of you resonating with it. You know what I mean? Like they could have Prince Charming or, you know, male or female, they could have, you know, your, your dream person right in front of you, but you might not be physically attracted to, to your dream person because of your perception, because you're going to be like, this is too normal. This is too healthy. This is too stable. This is boring. This is, I don't trust this. This seems too good to be true. I'm going to sabotage this. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's not like your guides are trying to keep love from you. Like, no, they want you to have love now. Like they feel like you deserve love now in the present moment. They're not trying to withhold it from you. It's your mind. It's your the self-sabotage, it's the familiar patterns, it's it's the fact that the toxicity is what feels normal to you, it's what feels like home to you. Um, and again, if this is not resonating, this is not your story. If it's if it's resonating, it means it's your story. If it's not resonating, just you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But but I'm just I'm feeling that energy where it's like your guides really do want you to have love now. And I feel like for a lot of you, you actually have someone in front of you, but you're just seeing them as a friend, or maybe you're not considering the potential that's there, or maybe you think that they're, maybe you feel insecure around them and you think they're too good for you, or you think like, like sabotaging it, you know, like maybe you have like an inkling about this person, like you have some kind of like a, like a soul connection, like a pull towards this person, but maybe it's just it's like too unfamiliar. You're like, would this person really want me? Or maybe you're, maybe you're just not sure how you feel about this person. Cause it's like, 
it's you know keep that in mind like your mind will change the way that you physically see people your perception your mind your patterns all play a role into you know it's body language is it's it plays a role into your perspective into how you see people and who you find attractive and who you don't find attractive so that needs to be addressed before you can have the true love because otherwise you're going to keep repeating these patterns and you're going to end up with the same type of person over and over and over again it's going to be you know like the same person but just in a different body and then you're going to think oh all women are crap or all men are crap and it's like no it's just the kind of people that you keep going for again and again and again it's it's body language it's the per the kind of person that you're drawn to um and if you have patterns like that, you have to be kind of careful with body language. You have to be more intuitive and on top of it and not just, um, like you need to be aware of body language and, and kind of study body language and be mindful of that energy. Be mindful when you're repeating a pattern, when you're attracted to someone based on a pattern, you know, recognize that kind of familiar energy. But for a lot of you, you do have someone that's right in front of you, but I just don't know if you're giving it a chance. But what does this person want to tell you? <coughs> Could be a soulmate, <coughs> past life connection, maybe a soul contract. Could be someone that wants to take you to a club or party, or maybe someone that you went to clubs or parties with. Um, or you met them at a club or a party or some kind of social event or through friends. Or maybe that's where you're going to meet this person. It could be some of you are about to meet this person. And your guides are saying, please don't sabotage this. Because you're praying for love and your guides are like, okay, we want to bring you love. But you, you can't, you keep dating the wrong kind of person and being attracted to the wrong type of person. So we don't, we don't want to bring you a really good person and have you friend zone them or have you you know, test them and question them and, and challenge them and push them away. Like they want you to have a healthy relationship, but I think some of you don't know what that feels like yet. So some of them might be saying like, cause you're praying and crying for love. And some of your guides might just be saying, okay, you need love. Like you, they want you to have love. So they they might be bringing love into you and they're just kind of giving you this message to say, Hey, please, when this comes in, please don't sabotage it. Please don't question it and push them away. Don't doubt the connection. Don't don't look for things that are wrong. Don't don't find reasons to. If this person is treating you like a queen or or treating you like a king, don't find don't look for things to be wrong with the relationship. You know what I mean? Like don't sabotage it. Like, oh, wow, this man is perfect for me, but his nose is a little too big. I don't know if I can do it. Like, it's like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Get past that energy. Yeah, he. this person wants to have that with you. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. You might be meeting them when you travel. Person might be watching you already. For some of you, it's someone that you're already friends with, but you're not, cons like, maybe you haven't considered that this person likes you. Like, you don't know that they like you. Or... Like, you just doubt it. Like, you don't feel like it could be that easy. Like, you feel insecure about it. Or maybe you kind of just see them as a friend. Like, you know that there could be something deeper there. But it's just unfamiliar to you. So it scares you too much to try. And then for others, this is someone that you're going to meet. And your guides are just saying, hey, like, we're bringing love in. But please make sure that you do this right. Don't push this person away. Like, don't ask for this person and then push it away just because it's not your usual type, you know, because it can't be your usual type. If your usual type is toxic and abusive and negative, then this person is not going to be able to be your usual type. This person, you might not be fully attracted to them right away. You might hang out with them and, you know, kind of maybe like a little bit of an attraction there, but, you know, kind of just friends. But like, as you get to know them, the feelings develop based on that friendship and based on a soul level connection instead of just on patterns, you know, like it's, it's a more like a deeper, more real connection. So it's saying, please don't get into your patterns. I mean, it's hard. It's not like, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult, but it's like, you need to make these patterns conscious for one thing. You know what I mean? You need to stop repeating them, make them conscious. Um, I mean, some of, you know, a psychologist would help because I'm not a psychologist, so I can't give you, I can't give you advice like that. You know what I mean? Like just, 
you know, full disclaimer, like I, I, you know, I can't give too much advice like that. So, but some of you might want to see someone like that to talk about these patterns and see what you might be able to do to, um, to move out of this energy. Cause someone that, that, you know, like a, like a real certified therapist or psychologist is, is going to have a, a better understanding of, um, you know, what you can do to, to break these patterns and start attracting healthier people. You know, they might have prompts and stuff for you to work on. Yeah, but the divine is helping you through this. The divine is helping you. Truth and clarity. Someone might be watching you on social media. Or you might be watching someone and they know you're watching. <laughs> What else can we say about this? What does this person want to say? This person that was tired of seeing you hurt and heartbroken over the wrong people and they, they want you to know true love is in front of you. What do they want to say? Again, this could be someone new coming in and your guides are just saying, okay, we're bringing love in, but please don't sabotage this. Please don't push this away. Don't question this. Don't doubt it. Don't like this. Again, this person can't be your usual type if your usual type is negative. So you might have to go for someone who's, you know, you're only somewhat attracted to at first. And that's, I remember people telling me that when I was younger too, like, you know, that the happiest relationships they ever had were with people that they were just kind of attracted to them at first. And then they became friends and they really got to know them. They had these deep conversations over time and, you know, they developed a genuine connection with them, like a soul level connection. And that's, that led to happy marriages you know, and it's like, you, you gotta, you gotta be intuitive here. You gotta use your intuition. What does this person want to say? Is there anything? And if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into this, just send me an email. Um, my email address is in the description box below and I can, I can look into this for you. You know, whatever you want to know, if you want to know about this, this friend that might be watching you, um, you know, whatever you want me to look into, just send me an email. Yes, yeah, someone currently or in your past might have been manipulating you through sex, like trying to dominate you and trying to manipulate you and deceive you. Maybe into thinking that 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 it was maybe they were playing on your heart, like on your romantic nature, and having you think it's true love when they're really just trying to get something out of you, like sex. And this other person might be watching this, and they're like, because men can generally pick up from what I've heard, which makes sense. A lot of times, men can can tell when another man is scummy. And women can tell when another woman is scummy, but women have a hard time telling when men are scummy and men have a hard time telling when women are scummy. So a lot of times like guys need their, their female friends to, to point out like, Hey, I don't know about that girl. She's kind of off. Um, same with women. You know, a lot of times women need their, their guy friends to be like, Hey, like I'm a guy. I know what this energy looks like. This isn't good. Like you need someone who thinks you need to talk to someone who thinks like if, if this is a man doing this to you, you need to talk to someone who thinks like a man who understands that perspective and ask for some honesty. Because there might be someone that's watching you go through this with someone and they're like, wow, this person deserves so much better. Why do they keep doing that? And it's like you have true love and you keep going for this person that's manipulating your emotions and playing on your empathy and playing on your romantic nature. And they might be being, they might be like being hot and cold. Yeah. Hot and cold. Like they're cold guarded and distrusting one minute. And then they make you a love offer and try to commit. And then it's, it's what abusers do actually. It's, it's, they, they, it's called love bombing. Look into love bombing. If this is your story, love bombing. As far as I know, I need to read up on it again. But from what I remember, love bombing is basically like, I love you, like you're the one, like I, I want I want marriage with you, I'm just afraid, I, I you're perfect, I'm so sorry, I messed up. Um, and then, you know, cold guarded, distrusting, you know, when they get what they want, like kind of um, back and forth, like they, they pull, like they manipulate you through through romance. They use romance, they use your empathic nature to manipulate you. And then they pull back and they have you chasing them. 
And then just when you're about to be done, they're like, oh, I love you. I'm so sorry. I come back. And then they, they get you on the hook again. And then you chase them. And it's just back and forth, hot and cold. It's just a game to them. It's, it's a game. Um, it's something sociopaths do a lot. And you need to rise above this because you can have that love and that romance that you're wanting. You just can't have it with this toxic person. And this could be someone from the past. Maybe you already let go of this person. I don't know. It could be that this was someone that you... Maybe an ex from like months or years ago even that you vented to a close friend about and the close friend is thinking like, wow, I wish I had a chance with you. You deserve so much more than that. Because this could have been a past story, something that happened years ago and maybe this friend is thinking about you again and wanting to come back around and wanting to have this go somewhere. But you always chose other people over them, you know, like you never saw the connection that was right in front of you because you were so focused on these toxic people around you. Any final messages? Hesitation, mixed feelings, fast moving. Yeah, you know, someone's wanting to come in really fast. They're feeling this connection. They're feeling that this is like a deep psychic connection. They're feeling um, maybe having dreams about you, maybe missing you. This could be, and they're sad over you. They're missing you, and they're tired of seeing you sad. They're tired of seeing you hurt. They have a new perspective regarding this connection, or they want you to have a new perspective regarding love. Um, they're trying to be courageous and move forward and, you know, come talk to you. But, yeah, there might be something blocking where they feel like maybe you're just, they're not, like, they feel insecure. Like, you wouldn't accept them or maybe you have a karmic partner that you're still entertaining. So your actual true love cannot come forward because they feel like you're blocked up and you're focused on this other person, like this ex that screwed you over. And they wish you would just let go of the ex and just be with them instead. They want you to end this pattern and break through and have freedom and be happy. Like, this person genuinely wants the best for you. Like, they just want to see you happy, even if it's not with them. And like I said, this could be someone from the past. Like, this could have been a situation that happened years ago where months or years ago where it's like you were in this toxic relationship and you had this friend that was like your shoulder to cry on. Like, they were always there for you and they were hoping it would turn into something romantic, but it didn't. Um, and now they're wanting to come back around and um, they're just not sure if you're if they would be your type or if you're still entertaining this ex. But, you know, you, you love who you love. You can't help who you love. But it's just I think your guys are just trying to point out that maybe they might not be your usual type. But maybe if you give it a chance, something can develop that might surprise you. Because I feel like maybe you'd be like a little bit attracted to this person, but like some part of you would be like, this is too good to be true or they're too stable for me. I'd bet I'd like sabotaging it. Like this person is amazing, but you know, they're, they're so stable and they're such a good friend. Like I don't want to ruin the friendship or I I'm too, I'm too much for them. I bet that once they saw my true colors or they saw how damaged I am, I bet they wouldn't want me anymore or, um, you know, this is, this is, be, this would be boring for me. Like, I don't, I don't know about this. Like, I kind of want to work things out with my ex still, um, you know, like holding on to an ex and you know, what's over with the ex, you know, that it's chaos, you know, that the ex used you and, you know, didn't treat you well, you know, in your heart that that's not right for you, that you don't want that. But I think that they said things that just hooked you. Like, I love you. I want marriage with you. I want kids. Um, I'm sorry. I regret everything. Like there was something they played on your romantic nature. So this person knew that you were a romantic. So they played on that to keep you hooked on them. But I think intuitively you already know that they were just saying what they needed to say to, to keep you on the hook, you know, like their actions do not match their words. Like they've already ghosted you or cheated or hurt you or, or treated you badly. And like intuitive that your intuition is screaming that you don't deserve that. Like, you know, you don't deserve that, but you're trying to ignore the red flags because you love this person and you love what they said. So, you know, you, you got to let go of that at some point, you have to end that pattern and cycle and break through and have this freedom. Um, so yeah, you have this other person that's, that they feel, they feel hesitant and they have mixed feelings because they just, they don't know how you feel. They don't know if you'd be interested in them. They don't know if you're still attached to that toxic ex. And they don't want to, um, they also don't want to be used. They don't want to just be old, reliable. They don't want to be a shoulder to cry on and like 
you know, have these feelings for you and ignore them. You know what I mean? So maybe they kind of detached because they were tired of watching you get hurt by the same type of person over and over again. And they wanted more than just a friendship with you. But I feel like, so this isn't like nice guy energy, you know, like, like, oh, like you need to date me because I'm a nice guy. Like I, you know, like it's not like that. It's not because I can see how that could be perceived as that. But it's, and that's not the kind of energy I'm getting. I'm getting someone that's more like they're respectful of how you feel. Like they don't feel like they don't feel like they could buy your feelings or convince you to love them or anything like that. I think it was just simply you guys were friends. They wanted to be more than friends, but you kept holding on to toxic exes. So they didn't, I don't think that they tried to like force you to feel something for them or try to, you know, give the manipulative, oh, I'm such a nice guy. So you have to give me a chance argument. No, I don't feel any of that. I feel like they just kind of slowly backed away because they had feelings for you and they didn't want to just, you know, keep hanging out when they, they wanted something more. So they were true to themselves and they kind of, you know, stopped waiting for this. But I feel like you'd have some interest in them. Like, but I feel like you might deny it though. Like you would deny it like, you know, this is, this is too good or this is too pure or this person's too stable. They probably wouldn't want me once they know me. It's that kind of energy. But, you know, this person does want to talk to you. They just... Again, this is two different energies. Sorry, I hope I'm not confusing anyone. This is there's two different energies here. There's a toxic ex that you were holding on to that was manipulating you and just telling you whatever whatever they you, you wanted to hear to keep you on the hook. And then there's someone that was more of like a friend type, but they're wanting to come in quickly and they're having these dreams and visions and this telepathic communication with you. Like they feel this soulmate connection with you. They feel like there's something deep and real here that they want to explore. And they want to come in very quickly, but they're hesitant because, you know, they don't want to be that like, oh, I'm a nice guy. Give me a good, give me a chance. I'm such a nice person. You know, they don't want to be that person or a nice girl either way. Nice guy, nice girl, male or female. They, they, you know, they want to give you your freedom. They don't want to push you. Um, so they're kind of hesitant because they don't want to come back in and then get sucked into the drama and just be a shoulder to cry on again because they, they're trying to be true to themselves. They want love with you. They want something more. Um, yeah, and this could be future energy. This could be someone that's coming in that you just want to give it a chance if it's not your usual type. So anyway, I hope this resonates. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is below. Um, if you want a reading, my email is below in the description. And if it resonates, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.